Welcome to another Discovery Bay Comics production, and congratulations to Hunter's Issues. You are the newest qualifier in the Sony PS5 giveaway drawing. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy my personal top 10 new comic book picks, releasing March 31st, 2021. All right, at number 10 from Image Comics, we've got Crossover, number 5, written by Donny Cates, art by Jeff Shaw. Kids Love Chains, Part 5. Finally, it's all come to this. What awaits our heroes at Ground Zero? What is the nefarious Father Lowe up to in that basement of his? Who the hell is narrating this book? Find out in Kids Love Chains, Part 5. Coming in at number 9 from Vault Comics, we have Witchblood, number 1. Written by Matthew Ehrman, art by Lisa Sturl. A modern Wild West road trip about a witch named Yana cruising the Southwest as a band of bloodthirsty biker vampires, the Hounds of Love, hunt her scattered coven for the source of all magic, witch blood. At number eight from DC Black Label, we have Batman Catwoman number four, written by Tom King, art by Clay Mann. This whole chain of events is what ultimately leads to Catwoman killing the Joker in the future, a secret she can't keep from her daughter Batwoman much longer, particularly now that the old man Penguin is involved. At number seven from Image Comics, we have Shadecraft, number one, written by Joe Henderson, art by Lee Gabbert and Antonio Fabella. From the creative team that brought you the Eisner-nominated Skyward, writer Joe Henderson, showrunner of Netflix Lucifer, and artist Lee Gabbett, Captain Marvel joins Zadie Liu as she ventures into the shadows to face her fears and discover a legacy she never knew she had. At number six from Vault Comics, we've got Giga, number three, written by Alex Pagnadel and art by John Lee. Evan's oldest friends return to find the prosthetic she once built transformed into her doppelganger. Mason and the Order of the Red Relay investigate an elephant graveyard of towering Giga remains. At number five from Aftershock Comics, I Breathe a Body. Number three, written by Zach Thompson and art by Andy McDonald. As Han architects a social media campaign of looming dread, she begins to doubt her actions and fear her co-workers. Locked in a terror-shrouded fortress of her own design, now with nowhere left to run, and confronts the fury of a fungal god long thought dead. At number four for Marvel Comics, we've got Silk, number one. Written by Maureen Gu, I believe in A Thing Called Love, and drawn by Takashi Mayazawa, Runaways and Ghost Spider, Cindy is on assignment and nothing can stop her. At number three from Aftershock Comics, Nuclear Family number two, written by Stephanie Phillips, art by Tony Shastine. When the big one dropped on their house in 1957, the Cold War turned hot for the McLean family. Forced to contend with the literal fallout in Wisconsin, suffering from nuclear winter, where almost all civilization has been wiped from the map, the McLeans now have to wonder, is the year still 1957? Or has something more shocking happened? At number two from Source Point Press, we've got Dead End Kids Suburban Job number three, written by Frank Gogol and art by Ninad Sitkanen. Three teens, one job, no hope. After the disturbing events of the last issue, Ray Ray and his goons are closing in on the kids. Now they need to get rid of the money and fast. Tori has a plan, a really bad plan. Witness a heist unlike any other as the follow-up to the 2019 indie hit barrels toward its final bloody chapter. And coming in number one from Image Comics, Department of Truth number seven, written by James Tinian IV, art by Tyler Boss. It's another deep dive into the secret archives as guest artist Tyler Boss from Four Kids Walk Into a Bank joins James Tinian from Batman and the Department of Truth to investigate sightings of flying saucers and the strange men in black suits trying to cover up their existence. Hold on to your cows. The truth is out there. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and comment below to be entered into the PS5 giveaway. And as always, don't forget, we had a good time.